Now this is just a follow up on the earlier videos I posted regarding the high-tech adaptive spread spectrum frequency hopping 2.4 gigahertz system. That's a mouthful. What you see on the screen at the moment is the pretty standard sort of a scan I was getting from the high-tech. It's uh, using a portion of the band, not the whole band. Uh, I was wondering why that was. Now apparently the high-tech only uses 20 channels and in normal circumstances it doesn't actually spread them very far apart. So I guess one thing is it leaves more of the band for other users, but in 2.4 that doesn't really matter much because as you can see down here, this is the, the density, this is how much um, energy it's putting into the band and the, the, the denser these dots, then the more power it's putting out. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of space between those dots. So the high-tech system is using a relatively low temporal density as it's called, or it's only on for a short amount of time. And that's the frequency it's using. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the, um, the video transmitter I had before, which will sit about here. So I'm going to try and break this high-tech output into two parts, see if it will actually split itself on either side of the band in, in its scan mode. I'm just connecting the video transmitter now. Shortly you'll see that pop up, as we have done in the past. Yep, sure enough. You can see a bit of activity. You can slowly see the shape of those, those two, three peaks I was mentioning before starting to appear through here within the high-tech system. The band, the band being used by high tech. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the high tech. I'm going to turn it back on now that this transmitter is operating. It's doing its scan. There you go. There's the beeps that indicate the scan is complete. Now you'll notice that it's starting to pop up down here because it's obviously spotted this uh, conflict there. It's starting to pop a signal up right down here. We'll see how long it takes and what that new signal looks like. What I'll do is I'll turn off the video transmitter in the meantime so that we can see that decay. There should be a hole, there should be some high-tech here, high-tech there, a hole in the middle where the video transmitter was. We can see the holes already forming. If you look down here at the spectral density, uh, these dots are starting to fade out while the dots down here are starting to come in. Indeed, very shortly, I think we'll find that these peaks will fall down as the intensity is averaged over time. And there will, in fact, be some high-tech being transmitted there, high-tech up here, big hole in the middle. Now, that's the adaptive frequency scanning that, uh, that makes the high-tech system so good um, because it will dodge, where it can, it will dodge the noise that might appear on the band. In fact, we're just about to lose all of this. There we go. So that's what high-tech's using now. As before, it avoided the video transmitter. But interestingly enough now, it's actually using two parts of the band, not just one part. It didn't just shift to one side, it's actually put a bit on this side and a bit on that side. And so overall it's spanning quite a bit of the band. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the transmitter off again and on. And if this works the way it did last time, we'll see something very interesting. I'll turn it off. Turn it on. Wait for the beeps. You can see now the high tech is starting to use the gap because after it scanned it didn't see any interference in there. So it's starting to use that part of the band because it's now free. But more interestingly, it's still using this part up here. So the peaks are now quite a bit further apart. It's still only using 20 channels but it's spreading them out more which is what I thought it would have done initially. So we can force the high tech to use more of the band and spread out its individual channels if we set the conditions up properly. So it is highly adaptive to the noise environment. So now the high tech that in my previous test was only using just over a third of the band is in fact using close enough to two thirds of the band. And instead of being all grouped together, the individual channels on which it's hopping, as you can see, are quite widely spaced now. This is what I thought would be the, the normal behavior if it found an empty band, but it's not. But we can force it to do this. Strange. Um, whether this is a benefit or not, I'm not quite sure, but it certainly shows that the high-tech system is highly adaptive and that's got to be good when you're dealing with a very noisy environment. It probably explains, at least in part, why the high-tech has got one of the highest interference rejection scores I've encountered during my testing. So there we go. That's the high-tech system. It can use much more of the band if it wants to. Sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on what's out there. So 
if I was using the system, I would now switch back to the manual mode and it would remember this pattern and it would continue to use that large portion of the band. So that if something did pop up here, it wouldn't really matter because it would only take up, a, only mask a little bit of the high-tech signal. But that's it. That's just a clarification on how the high-tech system works. I hope that's answered a few questions. I would have put the answers on RC groups, but they banned me because they didn't like me pointing to this review and these websites, I guess. Um, I don't care. Thank you for all the people who uh, emailed in and supported me and said that they were a bunch of idiots, which I believe they are. Um, but that's it. I'll be bringing you more reviews shortly, so subscribe to the RC Model Reviews channel because you're going to chance to win cool stuff like this high-tech module and receiver. And you also get advised when there are new reviews, video reviews posted. Also visit the RC Model Reviews website. There's a whole lot of new reviews going up very shortly with a lot of extra information. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time on RC Model Reviews YouTube channel.